All right, students, so I am fully expecting that you will struggle through these, looking at your notes and examples and all those things before you even consider looking at anything other than just the answers that are right here. I don't want you looking at the solutions because sometimes what students do is they just look at the solutions and they go, oh, that makes sense, and, but it really doesn't. So before you look at them, before you go any further, Think about that. Have you tried as hard as you can? Have you gone through everything that you can before you look at these so worked out solutions? Okay, with that, first one is 56. So here's 56. You can pause it because I'm going to kind of zip through these fast. But uh, this is the setup for it. Okay, rearranged equation, just like we did today in class for the warm-up. Uh, for 57, uh, change momentum is going to be the mass times the final minus the mass times the initial. This. Okay, just like we did today in class, plugging in, solving. For part B, you got to rearrange and then solve. Um, let's see, sig figs is why we've got this scientific notation here. 58, bowling, again, look, same equation, okay? Same equation, and then to figure out the change in velocity, you can rearrange uh, the momentum equation and solve. All right, there's the solution right over there. For 59, uh, again, we're trying to figure out the change in momentum. So this is change in momentum. Mass times the quantity of the final velocity minus the initial velocity. To figure out the force, we use that impulse-momentum relationship. All right, impulse and uh, to the, the change in momentum, we use that equation. This is it already rearranged. Um, this is the same equation as that one right there. <clears throat> right? Right. Okay. Uh, moving on. Let's see. What's the next one? 61, volleyball. And so, again, same equation, except look, this time instead of it saying delta P, it says mass delta V. Well, that's because that's what delta P is. So, the book is already substituting things and moving fast, but that's the answer there. And then the last one I gave you was 67. It's a big one. Baseball problem with three parts. So, change in momentum mass times v final minus v initial uh, to find the change in momentum for this short time period. Here you go. For the long time period, well guess what? It's the same equation, just it's going to have a different time in it. And so you notice that the forces are different. Pay attention to the uh, scientific notation there. One of these numbers is much larger by a factor of 10 than the other one. Big number, small number. Why is this a bigger number? Why is this a smaller number? Why isn't the force as big here as it is there? You should think about that. You should know the answer. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me or send me a Remind app message. Good luck. Good day. Goodbye.